Hey there guys, welcome back to another Resex review. My name is Simon. Uh, today I have this horrendously ugly gold HTC One M8. I don't understand why people like the color gold, my personal opinion on phones, etc. It makes it look really tacky, but some people like them. I guess that's all down to personal preference, right? Well, enough of that, let's talk about the specs. Right, would you believe that this seems slightly bigger than the original HTC One? That's because it is, only slightly, but that's enough to make a difference for some. In the dimensions department, the screen has gotten a whole 0.3 inches bigger than its predecessor, coming in at around about 5 inches and weighing in at 160 grams. It's no longer just a flat slab like the original. The designing team at HTC has decided that it needs to be more aerodynamic and has smoothed everything off. And as a result, you get a nice rounded finish, but it feels ridiculously slippery. It might take getting a little used to it first, but it does seem to want to go on a trip of its own. That being said, it does slide into your pocket nice and easily. So looking at the phone, you have the power button on the top, which also acts as your IR sensor for TVs, etc. You have the micro SD port on the right hand side. You have the headphone jack at the bottom, as well as the charge port at the bottom. And then you have the SIM card tray on the left there. And on the top and the bottom of the screen, you have the dual speakers. Something you should note with this phone is that it also now takes a nano SIM instead of the more now traditional micro SIM. So if you're looking to upgrade, make sure you're equipped and ready. As you may have also noticed, I said it also has a micro SD port on the right. This is particularly cool considering it's still a sealed unit and HTC seems to be listening to its customer feedback and having more flexibility with the memory. So that gives you more freedom to load all of your pictures and music on there as you so please. Also as a baseline, the phone comes with a 16GB of internal memory, or there is the 32GB model as well. It is also accompanied by a decent size of 2GB of RAM, but perhaps now a little bit outdated, albeit this is a phone from released in March. If you have or have not heard, Beats are no longer with HTC, but this does not seem to have made an impact on their stereo system. As per usual, it sounds great with watching films or YouTube or listening to music. It also comes in three different colours, gunmetal grey, glacial silver, or amber gold, like the one we've got here. Right, so the cameras are back as the main selling point with this phone again. Dual cameras. Why, you ask? Well, the idea is that you are able to create pictures in a 3D environment, allowing you to look around objects to get that 3D feel, as if you're kind of leading around corners. The specs of the camera say that it's a dual 4 megapixel camera, whilst featuring the infamous 2 ultra megapixel. What this means exactly, I honestly couldn't tell you. I did my research on the Ultra Megapixel back on the HTC One and the idea was that you are able to zoom in further into the picture and get a clearer and more crisp image. See all the little details that you didn't before. This doesn't necessarily seem to be the case and wasn't last time either. However, on a normal standpoint, the cameras do not seem to have suffered in terms of quality. So whether we'll see more of it being more distinctive in the future, hopefully we'll see. As for the 3D effect, I can't demonstrate that to you unless I had the phone to show you in person. But as I said, best description of it is to imagine you're trying to look around an object. It only goes so far, but it's cool nonetheless. Oh, and I won't forget that the front camera of this phone is 5 megapixel. I think that's the highest one to date I've reviewed so far. That's pretty cool if you're into your high quality face conversations over Skype, etc. Both cameras can record at 1080p. Frame rates, however, will be different depending on the quality that you decide. The phone packs the Snapdragon 801 chipset, featuring a Crate 400 quad-core 2.3 GHz processor and an Adreno 330. This is the going set for phones right now, so you should be able to run everything at 100%. It also features a 2600 mAh battery. Now, now, having tried this, I can say that the phone roughly lasts around about a day and a half as standard. That's pretty low, but if you think about the screen size, it is displaying in 1080p, as well as giving you 441 ppi. That's pretty high, and it's pretty high def as well. Uh, the colors are nice and vibrant on the screen, so if you think about how much the battery is being used for that, then it's quite understandable why it only lasts a day and a half. Think about it if you want to take it on a long journey somewhere. Uh, that's all for this phone, guys. That's the HTC One M8 in a horrendous amber gold color. Feel free to check the website for availability, prices, and trade-ins at www.webuy.com or check in your local store. Thank you very much. See you next time.